press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello everyone. Today I'm Salma with you uh, with an another uh, learning vlog of uh, Mandela's uh, Nelson Mandela's Long Walk to Freedom. So today I'm not discussing about the lesson. I'm going to say about uh, the grammar and its uh, activities. So when I say about the grammar part, so there are some activities for you in the textbook. So while I'm saying this, while I'm doing this grammar, you have to take the textbook in your hand and try to write the answers by your own. While doing this, um, the grammar activity, I will tell you the answer. But before that, you should try to write your own answers. Okay? I hope that all are doing good. So, uh, shall we start our class? Okay, in the page number 24, after the lesson, long walk to freedom. So, we already know about this lesson. The lesson is about a autobiography of uh, Nelson Mandela. So, Nelson Mandela, Nelson Rolilala Mandela. Okay? So, this is about. So, here is the, the language. Thinking about a language, here is the main call. There are the nouns in the text. In the bracket, the formation, government, which are formed from the corresponding verbs, form, govern, by suffix at ion or ment, meant. There may be a change in the spelling of some verb noun pairs such as rebel, rebellion, constituent, constitution. Okay. So I will write some here. So these, this main is for the word called suffixes. You know the suffixes? I hope that all of you know this. What is this suffixes? Suffixes, prefixes. This is also one of the grammar part. The suffixes. So, which are the letters which are using after the verb, after the noun. So, this is called as a suffixes. Here the suffixes words are. So, which are the words are here? That I, wo, yen. Okay. I will write a little bit bigger in size. That is I, wo, yen. This is a suffixes. Or meant. Meant. So these words are the suffixes here in your activity. It is in your textbook activity. According to this, you have to frame some verbs. Make a list of such pairs of nouns and verbs in the text. Here, some of the examples are given in the column. Some are the verbs are noun and verb. Some of the words are noun and verb. You know the noun. What is noun? Noun is nothing but which denotes the person's name, things, place, okay, the quality which mentions the names. That is called as a noun. Here verb. Verb is nothing but action verbs. Here, here there are two columns. Two columns are given in the, in the textbook. The first is rebel. Here the example are already given here. That is called rebel. Rebel is a verb. Rebellion is a noun which shows the quality. Okay. So this is called as a verb and noun. Here rebellion. You have to identify that. So which of the suffixes are given here? See, here is the rebel. So when we remove this I O N, the word called rebel, which means the verb. Actually, it is it denotes the action verb. Here there is a letters and it is called as a suffixes. I told you we are discussing about a suffix suffixes. I O N. So when it comes to I O N, it this word changes into noun. This when we add this suffixes to this. Okay, we, we are added here. So, this becomes a noun. Okay, here another word called constitution. Constitution, when we use as a verb, it called as a constitute. 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 
See, here is the suffixes added here, I-O-N. It gives a constitution, the name of the book, uh, the Indian law, so which governs the state, uh, which governs the country. So, that is called as a constitution. Constitute, it becomes a verb. Constitute, which, which governs the country. Okay, so this is called. Here there are some words which is related in the lesson. So, you have to find out those words. So, I am telling you this is purely your activity. Uh, so, you have to find out the answers in your textbook lesson. Okay, uh, another one example I will give you here that is inclination. Inclination here called incline. Incline. So, when it comes to verb, it is called as a incline. When we add the suffixes, I, O, N is called as a inclination. So, this is about another three columns remain. So, you have to find out the answer from your textbook from this lesson. Okay. So, this is the, uh, this is the one of the activities from your textbook. And uh, I will move on to the next one. Read the paragraph below filling the blanks with the noun forms of the verbs in the brackets. Here there is a paragraph given here in your textbook. So, some of the words are given also in the bracket. So, you need to add some of the prefixes. So, which are important, sorry, suffixes which are important for according to this words. So, I am rubbing this one. I hope all of you got this. Here the next is read the second main okay 25th page read the paragraph below fill in the blanks with the noun forms of verbs in the brackets here there is a paragraph called it's about a king martin luther king's dash contribute to our history as an outstanding leader began when we when he came to the dash a sister here so let me see in this paragraph um, contribute Contribute, it becomes a contribution. Contribute is a verb. Contribution, it becomes a noun. Then, to the assist of Rosa Parks. Assistance, it becomes a assistance. A seamstress who refused to give up her seat on a bus to a white passenger. In those days, American blacks were confined to positions of second class citizenship by restrictive laws and customs. To break these laws would mean dash subjugator. So you have to find out the words. And dash humiliator by the police and the legal system. Beatings dash imprison in the bracket. There is an imprison. And sometimes death awaited those who defeat the system. Martin Luther King's tactics of protest involved non-violent dash and in the bracket resist to racial injustice. Okay, so this is about the activity for you and it is easy to write the answers because some of the clue has given here. According to that, you find out the answers, okay, and try to uh, open and find out the words in the dictionaries. Next is second main that is using the definite article with the names. Here there is an, uh, the grammar part for you that is articles. All of you know this articles. What is articles? So, we have two kinds of articles that is definite articles and indefinite articles, is it? Here it says that before the names we are using the the that is definite articles, okay? So, let me see what kind of articles it is. You, you know that we have two kinds of articles. in English grammar. First is definite article then indefinite article. Okay. So, the definite article is the. The indefinite article is a and am. 
a and an so here the definite article so in this um, activity we are going to learn detail about the how to use this definite article that is the before the names or before the nouns before the pronouns okay so indefinite article is nothing but when we use the word called a or an so when we pronounce it is like a an no so we should pronounce as a a a sound because when we see in a phonetics we use this uh, that is english language phonetics sounds so sound is it is a letter a but when it uses as a sound it is a a sound the kannada a okay so this sound a and an denotes about the single okay single so you know when we are using one apple one apple is it instead of using this one apple or one uh, uh, boy one girl one book no we have to use it a apple or a apple a apple then a banana is it a book a pen here i did something there is something differences here there is a sound here here there is an oval sound in these two words there are some oval sound and some consonant sound you know this is consonant sound consonant sound ba ta okay so sa these are called consonant sounds and then the oval sound is ye i o u ye a e i o u so when we use this a sound here that is a sound apple so we should use it as an okay an apple not a apple here we can use it a banana okay so like this we describe this indefinite article so now we are going to learn detail about this what is this definite article and how we are using this so this kind of it is very easy to find out this how we are going to utilize this a and an okay when it comes to a applying when we are applying in a daily life or in your in our uh, exam purpose or some activities when we are doing some grammar so these rules are very important what the rules are so this was the rules uh, where we are using this a or an so it is called as a indefinite article and so the sound comes here that is a e i o u when it comes to a vowel sound so we have to use that as and then if it is a consonant sound when the letter begins with a consonant sound we should use it as a a sound that is a so this is about indefinite article so now we are going to see that how we are using this definite article the that is not normally used before the proper nouns nor do proper nouns usually occur in the plural we do not say the nelson mandela nelson mandelas but now look at these sentences from the text what is the text the decades of operation the brutality sorry the decades of operation and brutality produced the oliver cambus the walter cicelos of our time so used in this way the and or in the plural a pronoun proper pronoun carries a special meaning for example what do you think the names above mean choose the right answer okay so here it says about the oliver the oliver campus according to the lesson so there is a sentence so when when nelson mandela when he is uh, when he is uh, his speech he do, he did the speech in front of all the guest in all the in front of all the dignitaries he 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 called recall some of the words some of the uh, leaders so those people are called the oliver tambos the walter cicelus walter cicelus okay then um, yusuf dadus so these are all so when we he use these words he utilize the the oliver tambos the walter cicelus okay so why it is used like this so i have some rules here like you know 
here i'll write the here i will write the rules so why it is used the why it is used as a the definite articles to those people not nelson mandela here not written the nelson mandela okay so but here it has written like this articles are generally used before the nouns and not used before the verbs okay so one rule is it is used this article it is used before the nouns and not and not before the verbs and not before the verbs this is the one rule then here it denotes the what is the nouns nouns are nothing but which says the names of the person place name of the person place things and the qualities okay so these are called as a nouns not the verbs when the actions are going on so they are not used the verbs called then in particular sense it is used in a particular sense second rule is it is used in particular sense it is telling about particularly about a person particular sense okay particular about a person before singular used before uncountable nouns okay it is used before singular used before before singular and uncountable uncountable nouns like this so the rules of definite article is it is used the nouns and not before the verbs it is used in a particular sense and used before singular and uncountable nouns here the cow is a useful animal the cow is a useful animal the the cow is a useful animal cow it is a proper noun proper common noun sorry it's a common noun okay the cow is a common it is not so particularly some of the cow because when it comes to the all cows it is not given a particular one of the cow it says about a group of a common to that the cow is a useful animal okay whichever the cow it is okay so it did not it is not say about a particular cow when we say in that village there is a cow there is a cow that single when we use that we are denoting some of the cow then we are using there is a cow that cow is a you very useful for a for a uh, very useful animal okay so like this it is. the cow means when it comes to the cow is a common noun it is telling about a commonly okay then like uh, here uh, another one example i wanted to say here i think all of you know this nouns so it is used before the nouns not before the verbs like the uh, verbs i am telling about verbs is it good for a verbs it is suitable for the verbs the drink the drink okay the eat we use this like this it denotes like this no we are not using before the verbs it doesn't used before the verbs because it never says the meaning it not giving a meaning the meaning is incomplete okay we can utilize like the boy or the rahul likes mango juice the rahul likes mango juice the rahul is one of the important a person in a college in a school in a home in a family so when we that we are describing the rahul 
uh, that Shah Rukh Khan likes, likes mango juice, like it is, okay? Uh, so many examples are here. We will move on to some of the example. Next is, use before the singular and uncountable nouns, okay? Singular, a singularity, not plurals, a single. It is used before the singular, okay? And uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns, it is also uncountable. Uncountable, the cow, for example, the milk, okay? You can use the cow, the milk is white in color. The milk, we can count this milk? No, we measure it. So, before that we use the milk is a white in color. The milk is a very good nutrition drink, okay? So, like it is. I hope that all of you got my points and these kinds are the rules. So, all of you mention it in your notes that how you are identifying this the when it comes to the grammar, okay? Some of the examples I wanted to give you here. Okay, uh, the peacock. Peacock is a national animal. National animal. So, peacock. It says about a noun. Noun about an animal. Then, okay, the name of the, the names like, the river names, the Ganga, the Brahmaputra, the Kaveri. Okay, so we are using different article the before the river names. Okay, the Ganga, the Brahmaputra, the Kaveri, the Godavari, okay, the Krishna. So, like it is, we are using and the name of the seas, ocean, groups of islands, mountains, ranges, okay? So, where we are using this? So, we are using definite article the, 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 before the names of rivers, before the names of oceans, before the names of seas, before the names of uh, uh, mountains, then ranges, plains. So, before that we are using. And before the names of epics, the Vedas, the Puranas, the Mahabharata, the Bible, Okay, so like it is, the holy books. With superlative degree of adjective. He is the best student in the class. She is the best student in the class. She is one of the, a good student, a one of the good student in the class. Okay, then use before the proper nouns. The Tower of London, the National Gallery, the Great Scissor, the Immortal Shakespeare. Okay, before the proper nouns. Proper nouns like? We use this definite article before proper nouns like the immortal Shakespeare. We we'll remember Shakespeare lifetime. He was not remembering for past centuries like 14th century, then 20th century, then 21st century and in the next year we forgot. No. Immortal. So, the world is alive, till the world is alive, till then we are recalling the Shakespeare and his works. The great Shakespeare, Shakespeare's and his work we are remembering, we are recalling, okay. We are, we are reading his works, we are appreciating him, past, present and in the future. So, we are called him like the immortal Shakespeare or William Shakespeare. The immortal William Shakespeare. Then, the great Caesar, the great Akbar, the great Akbar, because their work are great, the great Alexander, the great Alexander, they ruled the country, they ruled the world, half of the world, because of their work because of their contribution we are remembering we are recalling we are recalling their history we are recalling their past 
we are recalling the contribution to the world okay it's like this before the names of games so where we are using this definite article before the names of games oh, sorry sorry so we are where we are not using this definite article so i hope all of the, all of you understood this how we are using this definite article before the names before the uh, name of the person before the name of the place name of the things like it is and where we should not use this don't use don't use so where we are not using this before the names of games okay before the so this rules are before the names of games like he plays cricket he plays badminton okay so he plays cricket we don't use this we don't use this like the cricket he plays the cricket okay before proper nouns before the names of the material before before proper nouns proper nouns like bombay is a is a is a big city okay we not using this bombay is the big city bombay is a big city bombay is a larger in size it is one of the big city okay like this we are using before the we are not using before the proper noun proper noun proper nouns before names of materials we are not using don't use before the before the names of the materials the third rule is before the names of the names of the material name of the material like gold is a precious metal we are using the gold is a precious metal the gold no we should use it as a gold is a precious metal okay we not using like the gold is a precious metal this is a wrong this statement is wrong we should use the, the gold okay the sorry we should use only gold is a precious metal okay gold is a precious metal like it is then iron is a rusting metal the iron is a rusting metal no it is a wrong one okay then this is about a wood the wood is useful for paper making a paper making paper so like this we are utilizing different article the i hope that all of you understood that now in your in your textbook so there are some uh, proper names are given here like here are some more examples of the used with the proper names try to say what these sentences mean you may consult a dictionary if you wish look at the entry for the look at the entry for the how they are entering this the how they are writing here mr singh regularly invites the amita bachans and the sharukh khans to his party okay parties mr singh here not used the mr singh here is a mr singh he, he is a name it is a name and when it is used for the sentence so mr singh is not important here now who is inviting who is important here the person who is inviting here the amita bachan okay because he is one of the great man in indian cinema that he is acting in he, uh, the uh, the fans or the, uh, the his lovers his uh, he is very great in the indian cinema so it is called as a the amita bachan okay not amita bachan the amita bachan and the sharukh khan you know we all love sharukh khan and his acting how he acts okay we love 
we are just fan okay so we say that the sharukh khan when we utilize the sentence called not sharukh khan the sharukh khan because there are legends we are remembering lifetime to his parties many people second one many people think that madhuri dikshit is the madhubala of our time here in the second sentence many people think that think that think like madhuri dikshit she is also one of the great actress but here not use it the why because there is a another person here who is the person is the madhubala of our times madhubala she is also one of the oldest actress and she was eternal is her acting are very beautiful very good very beautiful very attractive okay and she is also one of the eternal uh, actor okay okay he is she is one of the legend and now more than madhuri dikshit who is important here madhubala is important okay so we used here is the madhubala of our times history is not only story of the alexanders the napoleons and the hitlers but of ordinary people also see here it says history is not only about the alexander the great alexander the warrior and the warrior napoleon and hitlers hitler the hitler so these people are great more than the people okay so who are the great here the alexander the napoleon and the hitler okay because in the past there is a history and in the present we are reading about their works we are reading about their lifetime we are reading so many about these people okay so then in the future also our generation also they are also reading we are they are also remembering them not ordinary people okay here but of ordinary people also here says here is history is important for no common people also okay it says about a common people but who is important here here the important in the sentence the important nouns are the alexander the napoleon and the hitlers here people here is uncountable nouns the people are uncountable there are so many people we uh, we cannot count it okay so it is uncountable nouns so like it is okay then idiomatic expression match the italicized phrases in col column a with the phrase nearest in the meaning in column b first look for the sentence in the next in which the phrase in column a occurs okay so there are two columns after this this activity so next to main idiomatic idiomatic expressions the expressions which are similar to that sentences okay so what is that uh, in the column a there is a sentence called i was not unmindful of the fact i was not un unmindful i was not means i am aware about that fact okay here it says that uh, in the sentence three options are given here had not forgotten was aware of the fact was not careful about the fact forgot or was not aware of the fact here it says about had not forgotten Have was of was aware of the fact. This is the answer. Why? Because uh, the person who was who was remembering the fact, he was not unaware. He was aware, and he was not forgotten. Okay. So this is called. I was not unmindful of the fact. I was quietly aware. I was know well. Next one. When my comrades and I were pushed to our limits. okay so these are the sentences which belongs to you uh, which belongs to this lesson uh, the nelson mandela's lesson so the sentences which are already present in the lesson so and we try to find out the meaning of those sentences pushed by the guards to the what is the meaning which meaning is right for this uh, first one pushed by the guards to the wall took more than our share of beatings felt that we could not endure the suffering any longer okay here comrades means companion the companion were who was staying with the nelson mandela in the prison okay so here they says that that felt that what they are suffer what they struggle for that suffering is no more longer okay so this is the meaning of that sentence next is to reassure me and keep me going here the meaning of this is the three options are make me go on walking 
help me continue to live in hope in this very difficult situation make me remain without complaining make me go on walking it means that i am continuously walking then help me continue to live in hope in the very difficult situation so it is a hope to me when i am in a when i am in a difficult situation when i am in a problematic situation i have to create my own hope okay make me remain without complaining means i am remain silent without complaining to anyone so what is the meaning here what is the exact meaning for that sentence is so help me continue to live in hope in this very difficult situation this is the exact meaning of that sentence next the basic and honorable freedoms of earning my keep here the basic and honorable freedoms are so basic thing is the freedom whose freedom let me see here earning enough money to live on, live on keeping when i earned keeping a good salary okay here the uh, what is the basic things are honorable freedom of earning my keep so how much money i need it for living with the freedom with the independent life so that much salary i can earn okay so here it says that earning enough money to live on and keeping what i earn and getting a good salary i am getting a good salary so that is also not right keeping what i earned keeping what i earned this is also not suitable sentences so the right sentence is earning enough money to live on so i get that freedom so nelson mandela uh, uh, that he see the dreams for a people that people and for himself i wanted to earn myself and i wanted to get my freedom like when i get uh, when i am going to work so that earnings are enough to me to live my life okay so this is the meaning for this so all of you understood this idiomatic expression and their matching of the sentences the next main is writing looking at looking at contrast nelson mandela's writing is marked by balance many sentences have two parts in balance okay so here uh, in this sentence in the next uh, main the sentence is incomplete we should have to complete with the using of the phrases which are which are in the lesson which are already present in the lesson okay so here options already given here use the following phrase to complete the sentences given below so already here the given the options which are present in the lesson it requires such depths of operation so you have to find out the sentence i am not telling answer here so already it is present and you have to find out the sentences which is suitable for that phrase courage was not the absence of fear absence of fear and it is your kind of homework and activity the brave man is the is next the third one the brave man is not he who he who does not feel afraid next to fourth if people can learn to hate dash fifth i was not born with hunger to be free like it is okay here also the same thing this text repeatedly contrasted the past with the present or the future we can use coordinated clauses to contrast two views for emphasizers or effector given below are sentences carrying one part of the contrast find in the text the second part of the contrast and complete each item identify the words with sing signal signal the contrast this has been done for you in the first item okay so here uh, four decades here what is the background here what is the theme of the sentence uh, what is the theme of this main is there are some sentences already present here and there is a uh, some sentences were misplaced some sentences are lacked so you should have to find out those sentences which is present in the lesson so you should continue that sentences okay so like for decades the union buildings had been the seat of white supremacy and now okay for decades decades it is an italicized word it has lacked and the union buildings had been the seat of white supremacy and now so next lines which are continuing so that will be the complete of the sentences okay then here there are some uh, sentences only moments before second one only moments before the highest generals of the south african defense force and police saluted me and pledged their loyalty not so many years before they would not have saluted but okay sorry dash here there is a continuous continuous of uh, the sentences what called but arrested me so if you see in your textbook that sentence is like that but arrested me the next sentences are but arrested me
okay so i said only one next you have to find out all of you guys although that day neither group knew the lyrics of the anthem they would soon dash okay what will be the next phrases you should find out and try to write those answers next the fourth one my country is rich in the minerals and gems that lie beneath its beneath its soil dash next to fifth the air show was not only a display of pinpoint precision and military force but dash it was this desire for the freedom of my people that transformed the dash into a bold one that drew dash to become a criminal that turned dash into a man without a home okay so this is the kinds of your activities you should have to write assignments okay as a uh, it's uh, assignment and for your part of homework so i hope that all of you understood this grammar part and with the definite and indefinite articles okay so this is about your about your this class the nelson mandela's long walk to freedom and its grammar part okay so i hope that all of you got my points whatever i said all of you understood it the grammar well and uh, once again i wanted to say you uh stay safe be learning thank you all of you